The gods help those who help themselves, or so they say. Still, it can't hurt to suck up once in a while. <laughs> Desktop Dungeons has a full pantheon of deities who can help or hinder your progress in getting a particular god's favor can offer powerful and unique abilities, provided you're able to pay, play by their rules. I, I read pay, which is kind of true, because you piety, whatever. Head on over to the altar to find out more about gods. Um, I, I guess this is an altar, and I am a human priest. With high health, double undead damage, and full health potion recovery. Ooh, that last one sounds pretty good. Altar to Talrog, vicious berserker god. Though, although his followers are typically warriors, he'll still be quite useful in this particular scenario. Worshipping a god is pretty simple. They rarely refuse followers. Maintaining a god's code of ethics, on the other hand, can be a bit more difficult. Worship Talrog by selecting the prayer worship option at the altar. You'll be presented with a dialogue showing what boons this god offers. Have a look at them, then dismiss the window. We'll get to divine favors in just a bit. Um, ah, here we go. Wait, no. Um, you're not, you're not telling me nothing. But okay, uh, pray. Aha-ho, okay. Leave. Worship joining this religion will attack two max mana, inflict mana burn, and remove mana burn immunity. Hmm. Oh, hello. So basically, Talrog hates magic. Hates it. Hates it with a fiery passion. Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, sick. Wow. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Mm. Tarog purges the whoop, hello. Purges the weakness from your body. Ready yourself for battle. All right. Um next. A fireball glyph. In most cases, this would be a quite a valuable find, but Tarog strongly disapproves of magic users and will actually get angry if you attempt to cast any spells. On the other hand, if you pick up the glyph and destroy it using the conversion lock, Tarog's opinion of you will become more favorable. Pleasing your god is usually a good idea, so go ahead and do that. All right, I'm pick it up and I'm gonna destroy the the heathen magic or something. I don't know. Oh, hello. Revels in the destruction of magic plus five piety. Nice. Ding. Convert to the glyph as instruction. You should notice your piety rating at the top of the right of the screen, right here. I'm I'm pointing at it with my finger. Here, now I'm pointing at it with my pointer so you guys can actually see it. Ta-da! Increase slightly. Performing a god Performing god approved actions increases piety while going against a god's wishes will drop it. Don't ever let your piety fall below zero. Divine retribution can have horrific effects on your character. Up to and including instant death if you happen to wor worship a particularly brutal god. Who I have a kind of feeling that Tarog might be. Nice. Um, yay? Um, moving onward. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Tarog hates magic and by extension hates frequent magic users such as warlocks and dragons. Dragons? Killing such traitors, creatures will increase his opinion of you. Proceed to the top corridor and mow down the group of warlocks guarding it. Nice. Hello, what are you? You're a gorgon. Oh. Oh, let's let's not do that. Next hit estimate victory. I do six damage right off the top. That's kind of nice. Blat! Hella dead. Oh, hello. And um, guess what? You're hella dead too. Heh. <laughs> Wants the weak one slaughtered in his name. Oh, okay. I got it. Serve Torog well. As a matter of fact, you can gain enough piety to iron to tell on a favor or two. Head back to the altar and request an experience boost. This should make you powerful enough to defeat the Gorgon in the lower corridor. All right, let's 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 uh let's just go. Brrr! I'm right here. Pray. Um, five damage. Uh, no. Five experience. Um, hmm. Why, why you sh- Hmm. Okay, well. Boon command, because that's what it told me. I feel more experienced. Oh, I can only do one boon at a- Okay, good to know. Alright, leave. Wait, what? Oh, 
A blazing torch burns fiercely upon the altar of Tor Torog, a god of a god, the god of battle. Eschewing the use of magic, this god rewards any and all followers who demonstrate their faith in blood, faith with blood and steel. Cool. I have actually gone over the YouTube limit, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to keep going because this is just a test anyway. Leave. And uh, let's go. And um, let's uh, let, let's fight next. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Hold on. My attack power doubled. So leveling up was better. Okay, cool. You're dead. I just gained piety. Fine blow. Follow it with many more. Well done. Familiar advantages and dangers associated with the Swedish chef reads the text. And now it's Josh again. You don't have to become religious, of course, but if you manage to find a god who aligns with your play style properly, signing up for a prayer session or two can be incredibly rewarding. Attack the goat again to move to the final tutorial level. Um, goat. Oh, I hate these things. Goat. Oh, sad music. Sad, sad, sad music, but whatever, we're done. And you know what, actually... I really should have turned down the music to begin with, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Final tutorial level, blah, 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 makes you items valuable, blah, 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 several power-ups, blah, 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 observe their effects. Take a stroll to the right and you'll begin collecting the power-ups automatically. Okie doke. You look like a med kit. Human thief, extra initial damage, more item drops, all all potions, health plus mana. Wait, so all potions do both? Is that what that's telling me? I think so. Health boosts immediately survive your maximum number of hit points and... Oh! Oh! Cool! Greater survivability! Blah 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 blah! He'll pick up health boosts! Blah 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 blah! Just get them! Blah 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 blah! Improve automatically whenever you gain a level! That's pretty sick. Okay. Ding! Wanna boost! Blah 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 blah! Attack boost! Bonus percentage of your... to your total damage you care about! Blah blah blah! I'll on through all levels! That's nice! All forms of percentage damage and desktop tend to stack additively and are based on your core damage. Put your mouse over your attack stat and sidebar if you're curious about how damage is calculated. Okay, attack stat. Base damage 5, bonus 1, plus 20%, and total of 6. Okay, hmm, interesting. Money! Collect gold and spend it at shops like the one on the next tile. Nice. Buying items, blah, 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 blah. And let's go, and uh, someone's talking to me, but I can't talk back because I'm uh, doing stuff. Grease is baked, damage by five? Oh! Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> you make your purchase, the mysterious shop disappears, mysteriously. I like this game. This this game reach has my approval. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, lots of text. You should now be comfortable, blah, 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 blah. If you're interested in a live challenge, see if you can defeat the goat on the, what? 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 A goat. There's a goat on this freaking level. So, wait. Hold on. Every tool at my disposal at the time when a fighter needs sorcery at time. Blah, 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 blah. Flexible player is a living player. I, I think they meant character. I'm going to pretend they meant character. Your most important resource, without a doubt, is unexplored territory. Scouting out new terrain is the easiest and most common way to restore health. So plan your movements carefully, and don't over-explore if at all possible. Finally, always tackle the strongest monster possible. Fighting creatures above your level isn't always going to be feasible, but taking down superior opponents at early levels will give you a hefty experience bonus. Good luck. Thanks. The Pact Maker. Who are you, Pact Maker? Littles knows about the entity called the Pact Maker. This simple altar of stone is unadorned to stay from the model believe and exist inscribed on its front. No immediate penalty. Shift your worship from Mystera Anur to the Pact Maker at the cost of piety. Default on worship effects don't trigger. Pact Maker grant you 10 bonus experience. That's pretty sick. Extra experience per kill. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ten Whoa. Hello. 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 I'm just going to go ahead and... You feel different. Maybe. Huh. Travel should be rewarded. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. Am I... Hello, warlock. Victory. Slap. Dead. Ding. Oh, there's nothing here. Dead. 
Okay, uh, dead. Wow, I'm doing lots of damage. And dead! Hello, goat. He next hit estimate death. He can do 25 damage to me in one shot. Okay, let's go this way. Hello, fireball. Hello, goblin. Dead. Steady worship is rewarded, plus 20 piety. What? Alright, so, now let's... Wait, oh, whoops, I forgot to grab this. Pick up. Now, I leveled up. So I have 18 attack power, 22 health, and I'm also not on the menu. There we go. Um, and 11 mana. Not that that matters too much, because uh, I can only do a fireball once. 8 damage, though. What? Okay, I guess uh, spell use kind of... Uh, I guess spell use increases when you level. Cool. That's neat. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and pray at this altar, the Pact Maker. See if I can get some uh, bonus experience, perhaps? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, so the only thing I can do is boon for experience. But, um, really? I think I kind of better. Ten bonus experience. I wonder if that'll be enough. Wait, ten bonus experience. Oh, okay, so it'll hit me at level three. This guy does 25 damage. I could survive an attack. Magic resistance is 25%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that bonus experience. Ding. Bonus experience. I feel slightly more experienced. I'm level three. Attack power 24. Magic um, health 33. Wait. What? What? Wait, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, I mean, now I'm curious. I got a bonus experience, or bonus piety. Hello. Leave. Pray. Leave. Wait a minute. Oh man, I think I could have done something more interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, actually, no. I don't think I could have made it, so never mind. So now we are going to go over here, and we are going to... Um, wait. Whoa, hello. So I'm going to do this and blow it up. Blarg! Nine damage. You know... No, I can't survive another another hit. I can't use it. Okay, so... Ding. I think I just did something stupid. Oh well, let's see what happens. Blarg! Oh, I killed it! How did I kill it? I don't know, but I did it. I bested the tutorial goat and more than proven my worth as a desktop Dungeons player. I'm not sure exactly how that worked, but whatever. I should be ready to head into normal mode where the whole whack of unlockable content and new challenges are available. Have fun. Press retire at the bottom of the screen to finish the tutorial. Oh, I, I have no choice. Okay. Retire! Huh, okay. Damage score, 500. Monsters killed, 600. Boss killed, 0. Character level, 1080? Question mark? Exploration, 300. Mark, monsters petrified, 0. Tank, never drop below 20% health, 1,000 points. Kind of fe feeling kind of parched, didn't consume any health potions. Lay off the spirits, didn't come. Nah, I like that one, that's kind of nice. Unstoppable! Defeated all monsters level 8 or higher without petrification! I don't think I actually fought any monsters level 8 or higher, but okay, whatever. And uh, total score 6980, I'm just gonna pretend that that's a good score. But yeah, I have a, uh, a very, very high opinion of this game now. And, um. Oh, cool. Oh! Oh. Oh. That's interesting. I like the way that this works, but um, I am totally out of time. I can probably edit this into two videos, so I'm probably going to do that. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. This will not be the last.